Welcome into another Purple Insider Extra. Jonathan Harrison here, once again, joined by Purple Insider's Matthew Collar. And Collar, we'll keep it simple this week. How much should Justin Jefferson be involved in the decisions this offseason? Well, I think a lot. Um, I mean, first of all, he has a contract potentially on the table that would make him presumably the richest wide receiver in the NFL. I, I don't think the Vikings have any other option than to go to the negotiating table and bring a Brinks truck with them because Justin Jefferson uh, put his name in the hat for MVP, which how often have we seen receivers do that ever uh that tells you how special of a season it was for justin jefferson and of course it's not fluky even in the slightest considering that his first two seasons were two of the best seasons ever by a first year player and a second year player and he just continues to elevate his game he is the definition of a franchise player and those negotiations are going to be delicate with Jefferson because we do live in a world where if you look at the NBA and you look at the NFL and the trends from recent years, players know that they have a lot of power over their futures. Now, he is under contract, under his rookie contract for next year, and then they can use their fifth year option. So it isn't that they have no more time and they have to get this negotiation done at this second or Justin Jefferson leaves. But if they're not able to get it done by the end of this year, then all of a sudden questions start to become raised. Is he going to be the next, say, A.J. Brown or Devontae Adams or Stephon Diggs that's an elite receiver or Tyreek Hill that ends up in another place because of whatever issues, whether it's contract or just general happiness or as Devontae Adams did, he wanted to play with his old college buddy and it didn't work out very well, but he was able to find his way to Las Vegas by forcing his hand. And I think that players have more power in this than they ever had. So the Vikings have to understand where he stands, what's going to make Justin Jefferson happy. Because I also think from being around Jefferson for the last couple of years, one of my observations is how much he talks about the championship he won at LSU. And I think that he's aware that no matter where he is and what he's doing, two things are going to be true for him. He's going to catch footballs and make money. So th those things don't matter because they'll come to him either way. Winning is a different story, and it could influence the way that the Vikings go. And, and you could interpret that a couple different ways. You could interpret it as in they need to have a long-term plan to get him to agree to a five-year deal for how they're going to be a winning team year after year and go deeper in the playoffs in the first round. Or you could interpret it as, well, they better – bring everybody back and give it their best shot next year because otherwise he's going to look at this team as a franchise in transition that doesn't know where it sits in the world. And there are lots of other teams that are competing for Super Bowls. So this is a, a complex thing, but I also think that if it's handled correctly, Justin Jefferson will be a Viking for a very long time. And also, I mean, every once in a while I've gotten a tweet or two that says, Hey, what if that we traded Justin Jefferson? And the answer is, no, not unless you absolutely have to, not unless he's forcing you to trade him because he's not going to sign a long-term extension. And even then it's probably just best to let him run all the way through his contract, but there's really no scenario where moving on from Justin Jefferson is good or smart or helpful to the future. Um, as you know, you see all the time receivers are driving offenses and that was absolutely the case for the last three seasons for Jefferson and considering his health and his age, projects to be the case for a very long time. That's been another Purple Insider Extra for Bring Me the Sports. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the Purple Insider Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Talk to you next time.